So you saw that thumbnail for this video? This video is going to teach you exactly how I made that and go through the steps and everything so you can make thumbnails of your own. So the first thing I do is take a video of myself in different poses and then I take a screenshot of what I like best. It's a little awkward to do but it's what you gotta do to just get a photo of yourself to use in the thumbnail. And once I have the photo, I go to this website called Pixlr. It's free and really easy to use. And then I choose the size of my thumbnail, and that is Movie 720. That is the exact size for YouTube thumbnails. And I'm going to make sure I check the transparent box. Then I go to File, Open Image, and choose the screenshot I took. Then I have to drag it into the canvas and resize it to my liking with the little corner tools. And then make sure to save it. Now I normally make my thumbnail with two layers, so for the first one I'm going to erase everything around me to just make an outline of myself, and that's why the background is transparent. I just go to the eraser tool and start with a larger size and erase everything around me, and then I use a really small brush for the details while zooming in. Then I edit the saturation and brightness in the adjustment tab to my liking, and then go to file, save, and for this later, I want the part I erased to be transparent, so I'm going to change the format to PNG and save it. So I can put it onto another layer, and the only thing you're going to see is my head. Then I will open up the same photo again, size 720, but I won't make it transparent this time, and open the photo again, drag it onto the canvas, and adjust it to my liking. This will be the background photo, so I'm going to make it blurrier by going to Filter, Box Blur, and blurring it. I will also go to adjustments again to change the saturation and brightness to make it a little darker so my face stands out more. Then I will go to file and open up my transparent image of my head, drag it onto the screen and move it so it's in the same spot as it is in the background, maybe making it slightly bigger, and then saving it in that spot. And I like to add a white outline around me to make it stand out a lot more, so to do that I right click on the layer on the side here and choose layer styles, go to outline, make it white, and then I can adjust it to my liking. Next I will add the text to my thumbnail by going over to the text option on the side here. I click on the screen where I want it to go and I type it out. Now there's a few options here, you can change the font, the size, and the look, and then save it. And if you really want to personalize the size of the words, you can right click on the layer, click on rasterize layer, and then go to edit and transform image, and it allows you to move it around and adjust it however you want. Then when your thumbnail is all done and to your liking, just go to File, Save, adjust the quality so that the bar is full, and save it. So that's all you have to do to get a thumbnail, so I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you have any questions about how to work Pixlr or make thumbnails, let me know in the comment section and I will try to get back to you. And if you did enjoy, please consider subscribing. I have other YouTube related tutorials on my channel, so I'll have the playlist linked below if you want to check it out. And thank you for watching.